The first thing we need to do is, is get a box to put the parts in. Something that's big enough to take the floor end, ends and so forth. Now the first thing to do when stripping one of these down, take the guard screw out. Now, the guard screw is the only screw in the gun. It's a wood screw, usually. Now, all the rest of the screws, as you would call them, are referred to as pins. So, we take out the guard screw. Now, this is a, this is a pistol grip. It's only got one screw in there. Now, if it, had, if it was a straight-hand stock with a long tang on the guard, there would be possibly be two screws in there. Now, invariably, the front guard screw is marked. And it's usually marked by a flat on the, on the end of the screw. And the, usually, that, this one's pointed, and they put a little flat on the end to signify that's the front one. That's pretty general. That's general with German, English, or all, all European guns. Now, when you've taken that out, the next thing is to take out the hand pin. Now, this one through the through the through the, from the trigger plate to the top strap is called the hand pin, and it goes right through. Take that out. The next thing is take out the take out the clock cover plate pin. That's the one holding the plate on the bottom. And that knocks up from the inside. Just lift that out, put it in the box. The next thing I want to take out is the breech pin, which is the one underneath the top lever. Get the correct size turn screw to do it. These are these are countersunk heads, these breech pins. You have to hold the you have to hold the top lever over when you to do this, and hold it over far enough so that the edge of the turn screw doesn't catch the edge of the top lever. Take that out, and finally the last one to come out to get it off the stock is the the trigger plate pin at the front here. Gosh, this is tight. Now, that's the, that's the, the back one. Now, Take out the trigger plate, and this gun's got a single trigger. It's a, it's an add-on single trigger. Looks very much like a Miller single trigger. Then you can take the action off the stock. Put that on one side. Well, this is 
is a bit different single tree than I've seen before. The next move is to the next move is to take out the the sears. If the gun's cocked, fire it. Now knock out the pins from from right to left. They go back in from left to right. It's on the floor. Now this this rear the back pin here we marked with mark number three. They're marked from the front. The one in the front's one, the middle one's two, back one's three. It'll have three, usually have three little cuts on it to signify the, th the third one. Then slacken off your sear springs. They're held with a screw at the front, a pin at the front. And just slacken those off. Then you can slide out your two sears. There's, your two, there's the two sears. You can then take out, you can take out the rest of the inside work next if you prefer, or you can take out the lever work. But, but for this, We'll, we'll, t we'll take out the inside work first. Now, now the next thing is knock, t remove the cocking levers. You can't, you cannot or not supposed to remove the hammers with the cocking levers still in. Now, and that's not, that pin is mark number one. It's got a little cut on it. These cocking levers just push back and pull out through the slots. Now, you, either the left or the right is marked, but in this case neither is marked because you can't, you couldn't put them in the wrong side. They just wouldn't go in. Then you can knock out the knock out the pins that holds the hammers Knock one out, knock, knock one out, one side out. Then, I have, a, I have a tool here that will help me to remove the hammer. This is a useful tool. You, you can't buy them, but you can make them yourselves. Take, the, to take that hammer out and underneath and take the spring out. Now, you, or one side or the other will be marked, either a right or R or a L. Sometimes they're not even marked with R or L, they've just got a centre punch you dot on them. 